probably in 2025, we at Meta, as well as the other companies that are basically working on this, are going to have an AI that can effectively be a sort of mid-level engineer that you have in your company that can write code. These jobs can be really automated and replaced by AI agents. I'm going to share seven steps I took during my journey to take my career from an average IT engineer to become a security architect at AWS. I see very strong wind towards three technologies. Hi, yes, nine minutes. Give me nine minutes. I'll teach you how you can increase your income by 176%. You have given so much time to that job, which is not paying you enough. You have spent so much time working on those Jira tickets, ServiceNow tickets, and on-call rotations, which barely leaves you with any time. So that's why these nine minutes can give you certain indication about what is in the store and what you can do. I'm going to share seven steps I took during my journey to take my career from an average IT engineer to become a security architect at AWS. So the step one is the illusion. Listen, you are in a knowledge business and in today's world, the value of knowledge is deteriorating very fast. AI is making knowledge available to you on your fingertips. Now, illusion is ingrained in your security. Illusion is thinking that your job is good enough. Illusion is thinking that somebody else will come and save you but it is all an illusion. So if you need to be different and you need to enhance and upscale your career and do something sweet in your life, you have to break the illusion. You have to make a change. Hi, my name is Amit Arora. I am XL6 AWS security architect. I was hired by Bank of America, Chase ADP. Now, I know it's it's a little too much, but I started as a humble 60K per year Java developer from India and experienced getting replaced not too long ago. So if you made it till now, I guess you are probably a mid-level engineer working in some enterprise as a system integrator, system engineer, DevOps engineer, or just an infrastructure engineer. You might be an application engineer. If that's the case, stick around. Step second. Build the awareness. Once you decide that you need to break the illusion or illusion is always swept away by the wave of awareness, you need to build a focused awareness by understanding what is your career right now? What is your experience? What is the tech stack in today's world? How businesses are evolving? And that requires building of awareness. You need to get out of your repetitive job that you are doing for years and look out of the box to build that muscle which will propel your career forward. Once you break the illusion and you decided that you need to build awareness, now the step three is you need to find a niche. See, in today's world, you cannot just survive by having lots of knowledge or awareness of lots of things. You need that too, but you have to have something specialized. You cannot just be an ordinary developer or ordinary system integrator because these jobs can really be automated and replaced by AI agents. You need to build a niche. You need to look at five to 10 years ahead of the curve and see where the tech is going. To me, in my opinion, I see very strong wind towards three technologies. One is cloud, second is security, and third is AI applications. In today's world, almost every business is running in cloud. And in coming times, because AI workloads are going to be rising very rapidly and all these workloads require very compute intensive infrastructure, only cloud like AWS or Google or Microsoft has the capacity to run those big data centers and become available to these businesses fast. These businesses need these clouds because they don't have time to build infra to support their model. They would rather consume an API and pay for it and build their business or application logic on top of that. So I see a strong trend towards more and more cloud usage. The jobs around cloud like DevSecOps, DevOps, cloud architects, cloud security, cost effectiveness or cost optimization and building and automating in cloud. I think these jobs are going to keep rising and having a skill built in cloud and knowing how to build in AWS is definitely a way to go. The second thing I prominently feel which is going to be always important and every engineer can get out of it. Learning security. Learning how these workloads are secured in cloud. Security is zero day job. No business can run if it is not secure. And in wake of LLMs which are very unpredictable, the security becomes even more valuable. Imagine pen testing AI workloads against latest vulnerabilities. 
These are the things which will happen in future. AI workloads in cloud running securely and not hallucinating, not leaking data, not being attacked by malicious users in an automated way would going to be of a very big value. And third thing I believe is AI applications and AI development, ML ops and AI ops. AI is a very niche field, but it is very hard to learn if you look at it from the machine learning perspective. But if you look at it from the business perspective, you can think about becoming an AI engineer who can convert business requirements into solutions using AI models. But you don't have to be like expert on how a model is transforming one input from another. That is the job of data scientists and people who are tuning those models. But you can become a person who is an enabler. So AI engineer as a whole can be the third niche which you can go to watch. So once you identify the niche, cloud, security, or uh, AI, you try to leverage your experience and see how you can fit these into your current experience and build something which can be a sellable story. Right now, you probably won't be able to see through it, but if you work with someone who can look at your career and then project it into the future, then you can build a mindset which can survive for the long term. You know what I'm saying? Step four is once you identify the niche, you have to build it. And building the niche requires the work. You want to be that engineer who companies want to hire. You need six months of hard work. Work with someone who can mold you into that invincible engineer who is going to get jobs on his own and know what kind of job you are targeting. So you need to be very clear about that. And you can only be clear about that direction if you have worked your ass off to build that niche and build that awareness. Step five is now you are building yourself. To polish you and keep you sharp, you need to validate your learnings in an environment which is conducive to your growth. You need to find a tribe. You cannot hang out with people who you hung out for such a long time. You may need to change your company. You need to find those people who are growth oriented and looking to upskill and looking to do things in their life. And then you be part of that tribe. And if that tribe is led by a leader who understands you and your journey, that would be a cherry on top. Step six is preparing for the battle. Remember, upskilling and putting all this effort is not in a vacuum. You are preparing for something. You are preparing for that senior information security engineer role. You're preparing for that staff engineer role or you are preparing for that leadership position. You have to execute your learnings to the interview. You have to prepare for the lengthy interviews. These days, companies grill very hard. So while you are upskilling and learning, you have to keep one eye towards how you are going to crack the interviews. And I have been through many interviews before I made it to AWS. I can't even tell you how many times I was rejected and then got accepted. So I got an idea of what is required to crack these interviews. But you need to look at it from your own perspective and understand how you will be presenting yourself. And then last but not the least, the last step is execution. Put up a smile, go in the world and never look back. Forget about your manager, forget about your current team. Go and get that job and never forget to remain in your tribe. Keep in touch with that mentor who can understand you because you would need a level up again very soon. Because once you taste the growth, you're not stopping. You will be leveling up repetitively. So those were seven steps, right from breaking the illusion to executing your calling. That was it from my side. Good luck for now. So if you like my perspective and resonate with it, do subscribe. Because I not only teach cloud and tech, but I correlate it with the business problem and give you a perspective so that you can upskill, get that promotion or earn more money. Thank you for watching.